And am I good sitting here? Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. I got it all lined up. And, and, and that was Adrian. That's Adrian Wally. He's the. Yes. I don't have the most sophisticated equipment. I apologize. No, you're just fine. <laughs> like, you know. um, okay, so I'm just going to kind of in here. Um, so tell me a little bit about your platform. Well, uh, you know, uh, talking with really a broad brush, and, and I almost hate to do that, but l let me give that a shot. I am fiscally conservative, and I'm socially liberal. And that's the notion that we do need to balance the federal budget now. I say that because I believe that we're, uh, we're going to experience a monetary collapse unless we stop spending more money than what we're taking in. So. As President of the United States, I'm promising, promising to submit a balanced budget to Congress in the year 2013. I'm promising to veto any legislation where expenses exceed revenue. And I'm promising to advocate on the part of throwing out the entire federal tax system and replacing it with the fair tax. Uh, if you're not familiar with the fair tax, I would just urge anybody watching this to check it out, fairtax.org. It's been a proposal that's been around since 2007. And I think it is as the name implies. It's fair. It does away with the income tax, does away with business tax, corporate tax, does away with the IRS, does away with withholdings, and replaces it with a 23% consumption tax that ends up to be cost neutral because currently goods and services contain a 23% tax that when you make the tax completely transparent as opposed to hidden, if you will, the hidden tax goes away now you're talking about a product that when you add the 23% tax will end up costing the same as what we're paying today. But it will make American goods and services competitive, exports competitive, because our exports will um, be costing us 23% less. So that makes us very competitive. And when it comes to jobs, uh, if in a zero corporate tax rate environment, the private sector does not create tens of millions of jobs in this country. Uh, I don't know under what scenario tens of millions of jobs get created. So the fiscal side, the, uh, the social side, I, I support uh, gay marriage. I, I support fundamentally a woman's right to choose. And I respect anyone with a social conservative agenda but I think the best way that you influence other people's lives is by living your life by example. Not though with government um, passing laws or dictating to you and I how we should live our lives because what then happens is that our choices somehow become crossways with the government and we're criminal for choices that otherwise would not be criminal. Now you had um, some success with with spending cuts as governor of New Mexico. Um, how would you carry that over into the presidency on a federal level? Well, uh, promising to submit a balanced budget to Congress. Now, now that I, I'm not promising to balance the budget because Congress is going to have to, uh, have to pass that. But I will tell you that as governor of New Mexico, good government was easy. It was easy. Um, I may have vetoed more legislation in New Mexico than the other 49 governors in the country combined. Uh, I vetoed 750 bills while I was governor of New Mexico. I had thousands of line item vetoes. Only two were overturned. So I do not want to discount at all the power that lies in not making government bigger. You know, okay, I didn't peel it back as much as I wanted to because that required legislative cooperation to go along with that, but not growing government is very significant. And then I'll also add that uh, most of legislation, most of the legislation that passes is clarifying language for prior laws that need clarifying or need fixing. So, yeah, I signed on to fixing problems that existed. So I'll just ask one more million-dollar question because I think you're about due upstairs. Um, do you know when you might make a decision as to whether or not you're going to run on the Libertarian ticket? Well, I'll just say that I'm seriously considering doing it. It is about the message, uh, and the message is really important. Uh, limited government, government not intruding in your and my life to make decisions that 
you and I should be making and no one else. Um, that's an important message. I think it resonates with most Americans. And we're at a crossroads. Uh, I think we're going to find ourselves without a country uh, unless we address uh, reduced government, unless we balance the federal budget. And the status quo, um, Republicans, Democrats, uh, they're not going to get it done. Now, uh, I think Ron Paul has a very similar message. I wanted to provide stereo speakers for that message. Uh, at some point, that message will become surround sound. But the more that people hear it, the more people embrace it. So um, my looking at potentially doing this as a libertarian is a way to continue to talk about a message that really needs to be stated. Well, thank you so much, Governor. I thank look forward you so to hearing much. more upstairs. Yeah, good, good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.